Hello everyone and technically this tutorial is about how to mix uh, animated objects and soft body simulation in Vellum okay? or as the tutorial says how to make animated squishy objects in Vellum. Okay? So uh, there are, I'm going to do two examples. This isn't very complicated, it's actually quite simple. Okay? So the first example is this which is this bouncing object but it's also you know, got a vellum soft body simulation on it. And then uh, another example is you can use the same technique for sort of like modeling purposes, where if you if you want to fit in multiple objects into, let's say a box or something, or let's say you have like mushrooms growing and they need to interact with each other. So something along these lines where like you can animate it or you can just extract like a still frame out of this. So if you just want to show like objects packed together, then this is a nice way to do it. Okay, so you could probably use this for doing like some kind of berries. So where you have like a lot of small, you know, pieces all stuck together forming the entire berry. So then you can use something like this. All right, so to get started, I'll just, uh, I'll create a, first we'll do a simple animation thing. Okay, so I'm gonna take a test rubber toy I'll get rid of the shader and the first thing we'll do is I want to take a boolean. I'll take a boolean union because the insides are not part of this. So we need them to be a part of it. So there you go. And then just I'll just apply a fuse to make sure that everything is just, you know, sort of welded together. All right. So now the first thing to remember, this is a tip in general for vellum is in order to get the best result with vellum, uh, you should have a uniform mesh okay in the sense that the edge length should be uniform okay so the simplest way to do that is to take a remesh so what a remesh does is like your you know the edge length becomes relatively uniform and then what we can do is we can later on take like a point deform and shift this animation over to our original object okay so i'm going to take the target size and make it 0.1 or maybe a little lesser. Let's try 0 0.7. Okay. Okay, I think this is good. 0 0.5 is good. Okay, now in order to animate this, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to use a simple cos function. Okay, so we're going to take a cos of at frame, which will give us, like if I shift click on this, see it's going to give us like a wave. Okay, but we want the wave to be a little bit more, like we want more waves. So I'm going to multiply the frame with like five. So we're getting like, you know, five of these. Now the problem is this is, you know, like I want it to bounce, but this is like fairly smooth. Okay, so what I can do is uh, you can do something, you can do an absolute. Okay, uh, let me also do one thing before that. I'm going to take the original one and just move it slightly above, like not above ground. I want it to intersect with the ground so that you know, when we do the soft body simulation, it will have something to collide with. But I think, yeah, this is fine. Okay, so in order to make sure that this is, you know, doing a bounce, we can do an absolute. So what an absolute will do is it will take all the stuff going into negative and make it positive. Okay, so if I just do an ABS and put everything into a bracket, what you'll get is this. And that will give us our our bounce. Okay, so this is done. This is fairly simple. Now before continuing, let's do one more thing, which is uh, when we do the final point deform, I want my original mesh to match this location. Okay, so this is down here. So what I can do is I can do a control C control V, but I'll delete the channel. So I still I just have the value left, Okay, which is good, which is what we want. So I want this like the original mesh to be at the same height. And within the remesh as well, the, I want a static one over here because this will work as our rest position. Okay, so what we'll have is, we'll have the geometry we need to deform. This is the rest position. So let's call it rest position. And this will be our animation. All right, so the rest of this is pretty simple. Okay, so firstly, we need to convert this into a soft body. Okay, so take a vellum strut soft body. And what you want to do, so what it does is fairly simple. Like if you connect your geometry in here, like it first makes it into a cloth 
and then it uses these it generates like these wires inside which is sort of like going to make it hold uh, its shape okay and if we just connect this to a vellum solver we'll get a basic result okay so i'm going to take this and connect it connect both of them into a vellum solver and turn on the ground so if you press play it'll just you know fall down okay now one of the things i want is before we do anything else is i just want it to be a little more sort of stiff okay so what i can do is i can in the cloth i can come to bend stiffness and we'll make it about let's try a hundred thousand okay and what this will do is see it's sort of like you know it doesn't squish as much it sort of holds position and then we can also try to up the damping ratio or actually no uh, let's do one thing let's come into the struts and in the struts i'll up the damping ratio yeah so this is fine you know like it's not it's squishy enough but it's not you know like too squishy okay now the next part which is the most important thing is how do we transfer the animation that we have because this is what we have right like animation wise so how do we transfer this into our simulation so it's actually pretty simple so take vellum constraints okay so you'll find vellum constraints like drop it in the middle and what you can do is just change the constraint type to pin to target and set pin to animation okay so set both of these to soft okay and turn on match animation and that's pretty much it now if you press play you'll see what happens see so when it hits the ground it squishes and the rest of the time it follows the animation and what you can do is if you lower the stiffness value it will try to bring in more of the soft body simulation and less of the animation okay so if i bring this down to say a thousand you'll see a different result okay so let's try to bring this down to 10 okay and if you press play see so you can see the soft body simulation sort of coming in a bit more but don't go too low because if you go too low it doesn't follow the animation at all then like if i go to 0 0.01 and press play then it just like it will stop following it like it'll try but mostly it'll just it'll leave the animation altogether so you have to keep it enough that it sort of mixes both of them and once you've done this much then we can just transfer it back to our original geometry so in order to do that what i can do is i can just take a point deform and the point deform needs three things right so it needs the original geometry which is this guy it needs the rest position of our deforming geometry and then it finally needs the animation and that's it so this will then transfer everything over to this guy and we can try to maybe lower the you know in the vellum cloth let's try to lower this let's try to make it a thousand and let's also lower the pin constraints let's try to make it 10 yeah so depending on how much you want it to follow and how you know smooth it should be you can kind of work with that yeah there you go see that's a lot better okay so this is you know this is one example okay now let's talk about the other one which is let's say you have like multiple objects and they need to interact with each other so how do you go about doing that okay so this is again this is going to be very very simple so i'm just going to take a grid and we'll make it small enough and i'll take a scatter i'll bring this down to about a hundred points maybe yeah okay this is okay now take a sphere and we'll just copy it onto those points and i'm going to change the sphere 
to a polygon. Yeah, just make it small enough so they're intersecting but not intersecting too much. And I'm gonna take the frequency up to four. Okay, so you don't need to remesh this because these are triangular anyways and they're, you know, the mesh is equidistant. So like the edges are equidistant, so we don't need to worry about it. Okay, so you can do a bunch of things, right? We can animate P scale, you know, in a particular uh, direction using a mask and all of that stuff can work as well. In this case, I'm just going to keep it very simple. So I'm going to take a transform and animate it. So I'm going to come to the first frame and make it small. Do alt click, let's come to around 48 and make it big. Like go back to one. Okay, so we have this. And the rest remains the same. Okay, so just take a soft body. I won't make too many changes in this. Just I'll just increase the damping in the soft body, in the struts. Okay, and then take a constraint. So vellum constraint and We'll set this to pin to target, soft and soft, and plug these in. Okay, like it, this doesn't matter. Like it's just connecting everything to everything. And then just take a solver. So two things we're going to do, because this is just for modeling purposes, right? Like I don't really want it to do anything else, is uh, firstly, we're going to, we're not going to turn on any collision. So no ground, nothing. And the second thing is come to forces and make the gravity zero. Okay, like that's it. So they'll just interact with each other and stop. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So if you press play, you'll get the animation growing. And once they come to a point, see, they'll start to interact. So this is a good way to do a lot of things, right? Like you, if you want to do like cells, you can do that. If you want to do something like, uh, let's say if you have like vegetables or like, pickled objects in a jar and you want them to interact with the sides, you can do things like those. So you have a bunch of options that you can use. But yeah, and at the end of this, what I can do is I can just take a smooth and slightly just smoothen it out. See, there you go. Okay, so this is without the smooth and this is with the smooth. And you can try to maybe like, you know, up the filter quality and adjust the smoothing a little bit. And yeah, I think this is good. Yeah, so there you go. So you can have, so anything, like literally, even if you're bringing in animation from another software and you want like part of it to have soft body and part of it to follow animation, you can do those things as well. Okay, so just to sort of, you know, do that as a final thing is uh, coming back here. So let's say if we want the back half of this to follow the animation and the front half to not follow the animation. So what I can do is I can come into the remesh and take a group and set this to points and we'll call it pin. And I'll just pick up a bounding region. Yeah, let's move it back. Yeah, so let's just pick up this much. Okay, and then what I can do is I can come into the pin constraint and I can modify this, come to group type, set it to point and we'll pick up pin. See, so now it's only doing that much. And so what will happen is if we simulate this, see the front will just sort of fall down and the back is, you know, trying to pick up the animation. So yeah, so you'll get something really silly like that. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So this is how you can mix. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that looks funny. All right, so that's pretty much it. So this is how you can mix, uh, you can mix animation and uh, soft bodies using Vellum, okay, for uh, a bunch of purposes. Like you can mix it into animation and you can also use it for, you know, just modeling stuff. You know, like if you just want to pack things uh, together, then you can use it for those purposes as well. Okay, so uh, I hope the tutorial was useful and if you have any questions regarding this, uh, you can ask me in the comments or you can write me an email. And uh, there's another tutorial, not by me, uh, but which deals with the same topic in much more detail. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description. So if anybody wants, you know, because this is fairly simple, but if anybody wants a more complex example, then you can, you know, you can look at that one as well. All right, that's pretty much it.